Okay, hi there. Uh, so what are the key factors that can cause a change in market supply for different goods and services? Well, this short revision video uh, takes you through the key points to help your understanding of this aspect of the price mechanism. So first of all, uh, asking a simple question, what is market supply? Well, it's the supply of a good or service that producers are willing and able to supply onto a market at a given price in each time period. Now, market supply sums the supply of all the individual producers in a market or industry. Let's have a, quick, a look at a quick numerical example of this. Uh, market supply, the total supply brought to the market by producers at each time price. So, for example, if the market price is £10, firm A is willing to supply 30 uh, firm C 5 but firm B doesn't, uh, maybe it's got higher costs and can't supply any at that price, so the market supply will be 35 However, if the price goes up from 10 to 20 well, firm A will expand their supply to 45 firm B comes into the market, supplies 10 and firm C expands to 15 Adding those together, if my maths is correct, that means the market supply goes up to 70. And as the price goes up, we expect market supply to increase. At uh, £30, the total market supply, if you do the numbers there, will be 125. And at £40, uh, well, all three firms are in the market. All three firms can expand their production and total supply goes up to 200. So as the market price goes up, then market supply expands. In this case, because each firm is expanding their own production. But our focus in this video uh, is not necessarily a movement along a supply curve caused by a change in the market price, but causes of shifts in the market supply curve. Now the key to understanding market supply and shifts in it is to focus on uh, certain key factors. And I'm going to try and summarise them for you and give you some examples. The first is cost of production affecting all producers in the market. The second is external shocks, such as things like weather and uh, related events. New, new technologies can have an effect on supply. So too government taxes and subsidies. And crucially, and you'll know this if you've been studying market structures in year, uh, year 13, the number of and the scale of production in the market. So here are six factors, for example, that uh, could cause an outward shift, an increase in market supply. Could be the case, for example, that there's an industry-wide fall in supply costs, the costs of key energy sources such as oil and gas, or perhaps the fall in the price of essential component parts used by most producers in the market. One thinks about, for example, the costs of car making cars or the cost of making steel or the cost of making uh, complicated consumer electronic products. The entry of new suppliers into a market or into an industry can increase market supply. So when the barriers to entry in the market go down and you have an influx of new producers or new suppliers, uh, that increases market supply at each price. So too, the impact or the effect of widely adopted process innovations at lower supply costs. So innovation and process innovation in particular is often best described as making uh, more with the same inputs or making the same output with less inputs. By the way, innovation uh, in the ways in which uh, goods and services are produced and supplied can bring down supply costs and therefore increase market supply. Government financial support in the form of subsidies to producers can also increase market supply. And so too, in the long run, uh, we see existing firms scaling up production, uh, moving down their long and average cost curve and, uh, and producing at lower cost. And uh, a good example of how market supply can increase is when an industry is opened up, opened to trade, uh, particularly if other countries have a comparative advantage in something and they can supply at lower price. So trade might be a way of increasing market supply. How do we show this in the diagram? Of course, you'll be familiar with using supply and demand diagrams. 
Well, of course, an outward shift of supply. If the initial equilibrium here is P1 and Q1, uh, an outward shift shifts the market supply to MS2, and other things being the same, that gives you a new equilibrium uh, point between supply and demand at a lower price P2 and a higher quantity Q2. So there's your diagram showing an increase in market supply. <clears throat> Pardon me. You might be able to bring in some welfare concepts there, such as consumer and producer surplus. A couple of examples of what I mean. Lots of interest at earned in uh, the growing demand for electric cars. Uh, Tesla, of course, dominates the news in many, many countries. But other businesses, including Ford, are setting ambitious targets for the number of electric vehicles they're hoping to produce. And as new businesses, new car, new uh, motor manufacturers scale up production, you'd expect the market supply to uh, to increase. And another really good example uh, is uh, is renewable energy. And here, this headline: Europe to invest a billion euros in clean technologies such as green hydrogen is a good example, I think, of the combination of government support and the, the, the latent power of process innovation. In 2020, if we look at the onshore wind market, the cost of onshore wind per kilowatt was uh, was pretty well. It was pretty low and falling, particularly compared to a decade before. In fact, let me show you this chart. So this is the cost coming up of um, per kilowatt of onshore wind energy, and you can see that there's been quite a steep fall, particularly uh, since around 2012, <coughs> 2013. Uh, in 2012, it stood at nearly $2,000 per kilowatt. It's now well below $1,500 US dollars per kilowatt and is expected to fall further. As the market supply of onshore wind increases, as the economies of scale are exploited and innovations are adapted, you would expect market supply to increase and for a given level of demand to drive down the price. So shifts in market supply are a key feature of the price mechanism and I hope you enjoyed uh, working through some causes with me in this video. As always, take care, look after yourselves and hope to see you again sometime soon.